Hi everyone, welcome back to The Crafty Author. My name is Anissa, I am The Crafty Author, and welcome to my quilting room. Today is gonna be just kind of a little chat day because I can't really do too much in the way of um, a tutorial. I also wanted to do a, um, a four month Rakoma um, review on my 10 needle embroidery machine, which I absolutely love. But if you haven't heard the news, I wanted to go ahead and let you all know um, that my father-in-law did pass away last Wednesday. And um, so honestly, I haven't really done too much. So um, this is actually the first time I've been downstairs in my quilting room since that has happened. I have been busy helping my husband and his family um, plan um, the services and whatnot. Um, so here are some updates. I am feeling better physically, so that's a good thing. Um, I'm not feeling better in the way of losing, you know, a loved one, but, um, but it did happen and it went quickly. And um, I just want to tell you a little bit about him because he was a really, really cool guy. Um, I met him, I met my father-in-law when I was about 15 years old, because that's when I met my husband. And he kind of, he took me under his wing um, and treated me just like his own child, like his own daughter. Um, I was very close to him and um, his death has hit me pretty hard. And um, he was fun. He had a great sense of humor. And um, yeah, so he was just a really, he was a really fun, great guy. Very kind hearted. And um, so it's a big loss for our family. And my husband has now lost both of his parents, which really sucks. So um, anyway, I just, I wanted to share that with you. Um, I know I've been absent a lot. There's been a lot going on in my life. And I've been kind of telling you that kind of along the way for the last couple of months. Um, <clears throat> things have just been crazy. Just so crazy. I am so ready for the roller coaster ride to just to stop for a little while. So, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen anytime soon. So, I also wanted to update you and let you know that I went to the doctor. I saw the hand specialist. And the hand specialist, um, I have some good news. I have some really, really good news. I did not break my hand. I did not break any bones. Um, and I do not need surgery. But what I did do was I tore all the ligaments in my hand here. So I have a cast on. <laughs> I have a cast all the way up to my elbow. <laughs> it is impossible to do anything. I, I'm just saying it is just, I, I want to do so much down here. I have so much quilting and so many projects that need to get done. And by golly, I cannot do it. I thought that the splint was limiting. The cast is even more limiting. So... I'm kind of at the mercy of others <laughs> to help me do things. And with the passing of my father-in-law now, it's just kind of very hard to get projects done. So, you know, this might be a really good time to do like a, a Q and A type of deal. So if you have questions and whatnot, um, put them down below in the comment section and I will do a Q and A session. Um, because at this point that's kind of what I'm what I'm delegated to do. So um I will get this off on February 15th, knock on wood. I do have to go in tomorrow and they do have to look at it because right in here it keeps getting tighter and tighter and tighter. Um I know some of it is from swelling, but it gets so tight that it, it actually squeezes my arm and it really hurts. So I have an appointment tomorrow. They're gonna go in, they're gonna look they might remove this cast and recast it again, is what I'm told. So, who knows? Um, but I did get it signed. I do wanna share that with you. Got some signatures on here, it's kinda of hard. Yes, that is glitter. 
my doctor does glitter casts, which are really awesome. Uh, my grandson signed here, signed his name. And then my little, my littlest one, the two year old signed here. And my mom signed there, my son, and then my son-in-law. So those are the only ones that have signed it so far. But um, yeah, I did want to show you that. So um, anyway, so not a whole lot going on that way. It's really hard to comb my hair. I can't do anything. My appearance looks like crap and I apologize. Um, but this is as good as it gets. Honestly, I, it's a flipping nightmare to even put clothes on. <laughs> I'm telling you what, this is a great year so far. Um, I did want to show you some things that I did get though. Just because, you know, we're going to chat. So let's just chat. Um, I ordered some t cutaway stabilizer. So this is new bro thread cutaway stabilizer. Um, I've used this in the sheets and I, I really liked it. Um, so I just bought it off the big roll. I get this off of Amazon and I'll put that down in my, um, my Amazon store, which the link is down below. You can find everything that you need there, embroidery wise, quilting wise. Um, I have all the stuff that I use in my home. I have, I have a whole list going of stuff there. So if you're curious about that, that's where you'll find that information. Same with this awesome chair. So just have a look around. And I also got some in the color black. And kind of what started this was... I embroidered this shirt and if you follow me or this sweatshirt and if you follow me on uh, Facebook, Instagram, or even TikTok, you would have seen the video that I did of this. I did a real quick little snippet of it. Um, my husband helped me do it. So I put my crafty author logo on there and I absolutely love it. And what I did was I ended up using Tearaway. And lucky for me, the tearaway actually worked really well for this. But if I had used um, cutaway, it would have been even better. So it just keeps the design from sinking in and getting a little bit crinkled up when you wash, um, wash your sweatshirts over time. Um, I got lucky with this one, but next time it might not be so lucky. So I wanted to do it properly and get the cutaway. Um, so that's why I have that. The next thing that I have is I got this cool, I think I might have shown you this. This is a little selfie light. It's got Minnie Mouse on it. You can see I picked that up on the clearance section at Walmart. So I hope that that helps with the lighting in here as well because sometimes my lighting is not very good. Um, I also got new lights in here too, so it is extra bright. But, you know. I got a new label maker. And this is really cute. This is also in my Amazon store because that's where I got it from. So I have cam snaps and I love cam snaps. And so I want, I bought a little, um, like a shelving unit from Harbor Tool and from Harbor Tool. And um, I want to label my little drawers for my, my snaps on there and for also my dies. So I got this. I am trying really hard to show you how this works. I don't even know if I can do this because I don't have the strength. Anyway, I'm not going to get it. There's a little, um, there's a, a roll of little stickers in there. They're like this big. They're really small, like one inch by, I don't know, half an inch. They're super small. Anyway. Um, one of these days I'm going to sit down and get to that. I haven't got to it yet because, well, life is insane. So I did get this really cute little holder for it, a little case so that it keep it protected from dust and stuff like that. You know, fuzz from quilts and, oh, how cute. Look, it came with some little stickers so you can decorate your little box. Oh, that's so cute. Well, you know I'll definitely be doing that. Um, Lee Jean is what this is called. This is adorable. Look at this from Amazon. So if you're interested in that, I will also link to that down below. And it comes with this little carabiner hook. 
Um, oh, but I love this. This is adorable. Let's see if I can hook it. <laughs> the challenges of life, right? The things we take for granted, I have to tell you, it's uh, it's pretty unbelievable. And then I saw a picture today of a baby who has who had surgery in one of my groups, and she's got, and this baby had casts on both hands and both feet because it had surgery, and I'm just like, yeah, and I'm complaining. <laughs> Always somebody out there who has it worse. So this is what my little thing is going to go into. I'm going to put it in this. I'm sorry. I'm going to put it in this one just to keep it safe. And then that way it's protected. So, okay. I can't do this. Anymore. I'm going to set that aside. All right, and then I got some new Cricut stuff. My Cricut box arrived. This was a, mix, a Cricut mystery box that arrived. And that is also another thing that I would like to talk about as well. So for those of you who do not know, um, Melody Lane is a YouTuber here on YouTube. And she is actually a very, very kind and nice woman. And I consider her to be a friend. Um, she helped me quite a bit with my channel when I first started. And her and her husband, her son, um, Alex, um, are both very, very ill with COVID-19. Um, they are both in the hospital. And they, as far as I know, Melody has COVID pneumonia. Her sister has been giving updates. And um, as many of you know, I also have a friend, another friend who just overcame COVID. So um, please, 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 can we keep them in our prayers, please? I will link below to Melody's channel so that you can follow along as well. Um, and her son also has a channel on here called Bearded Adventures. I'll link to his too. But let's let's lift them up with good thoughts and prayers and um, good well wishes because, my goodness, everybody needs it right now, you know. And I know there's a lot of you out there that also need it. So I will be praying for you as well. Um, we have to lift each other up. We just have to. So, um, look, everyday iron on. So like I said, this is a mystery box. Mystery box is what um, Cricut offers every, like usually every month, and they fill it with a bunch of goodies at a discounted rate. Um, and there, you get some really good stuff in there. So here's some transfer tape. So for those of you who are new and got new Cricuts for Christmas, um, following Melody would be a really good idea because she also has coupon codes. And she shares and does a really good job of letting you know what the mystery box is for the month or, you know, at the time. And so that's how I figured find these. So, and there's some Cricut pins. It says explore, but it fits make the Maker 3 and the Maker and the Cricut Explore Air 3 as well. Here's some infusible ink pins. You get a Cricut. Premium fine point blade for your Cricut machine. Now this one is no longer available, but I just want you to see what I got. Plus, I want you to know about the Cricut mystery boxes because they are so cool. That's cardstock. Oh, well, you can see my little Minnie Mouse light in there, huh? <laughs> That's cool. Um, and then glitter cardstock. So you can see how cool this is. And these are all in different colors. You can see how cool these mystery boxes really, truly are. They're a great value for what you get. And then there is this one, which is your two mats, two 12 by 12 um, green mats. These are standard mats. And then a uh, Cricut QT. Now, they don't always come with a Cricut Cutie, but this time it did. So, this one is 
silver. He looks mint green or kind of like a bluish color, but he really is silver. Isn't he cute? I love these. Um, so I collect them and you see them all over. Oh, I'm sorry. This is a blue one. This is light blue. This, the silver one's over there. So you will see these all over my craft room because they're everywhere. Um, but I love them. They're so cute. So anyway, that is it for me today. If you would like to follow me on social media, the links are down below in the description box. Don't forget to give this video a like and don't forget to click the little bell and get subscribed. You'll get notified each and every time that I upload an awesomely cool new video. Um, I know we're having a rocky start to the beginning of the year, but by golly, we know it's gonna get better and I am gonna start putting out some really good content. And um, don't forget to put those questions down below so that I can have a list of what I need to answer. Keep on crafting, stay healthy, love your loved ones. I'll see you soon, bye-bye.